So the first step is to create the template for the top half of the grey base suit and the way I'm doing this is using masking tape and what I'm do doing it is I'm taping off the, so his chest, his stomach and his sides as well as his shoulders and I'm going to apply a couple of layers of masking tape and then once I'm happy I'll remove the masking tape in one piece, stick that onto the material and use that to draw around and cut out the template. And here I've uh, taped the template onto the material and the best thing about using the masking tape is it sticks to the material, doesn't move and you can just draw straight around it. And here you can see I'm just uh, drawing on some tabs on either side and this is just to leave a bit of extra material when it comes to sewing the edges together. And here, as you can see, I'm just repeating the process for the back of the figure, making sure to go around the back of his neck, around the sides, and I'm using the seam of the, of the figure itself as a guideline. The body of the figure comes together in two halves and then screwed together. So I'm using that seam of the edge of the uh, two halves of the figure as a guideline, and then I will draw two, t uh, two tabs on either side of, for, of the uh, template on the material for a bit of extra material to sew them together. And now comes the long and boring part, lucky for you I've sped it up, but now it's time to sew the two halves together.
So once you've sewn the two halves of the vest together, make sure you leave the uh, shoulders um, unsewn. Just sew the two ha uh, halves and then you'll also find they won't fit over the arms so you'll have to unscrew the figure, take it apart, take the arms and the legs off and then the vest will just slip on from the bottom upwards. And as you can see here I've moved his arms and legs and then what you want to do is slip the vest from the bottom up and thread it up to his shoulders and as I mentioned do, don't uh, sew the shoulders together because that's what you'll do next and hopefully it'll be tight and tight fitting as you can see there and then what, what next step will be is to sew the shoulders together and don't worry about the stitching showing because the cape will cover the stitching. Okay guys, that's the uh, vest done. Obviously I'll be repeating the process with the masking tape on the arms and on the legs. But a little trick that I've found is sometimes when you do uh, material on make a, something like this, um, it can be a bit baggy. Now this isn't quite that, quite that bad, but if I just pinch the back, you can see the, that all the definition on his abs show up a lot better and all I've done there is pinched it there. Now this is going to get covered with the cape anyway so what you can do is pinch it like I'm going to and then just put a few stitches in the back to tighten it up. Okay, as you can see, the base suit is finished, and now we're going to move on to the cape. So to create the collar line for the cape, we're using masking tape, and we're taping around the figure's neck, and that will give us the template. Of So once you're happy with your template, peel it off in one piece and then the next step is to uh, stick it down on a bit of white card or white paper and trace around the inside of the template. So once you've cut the inside of the template out, remove the masking tape and then fold the template in half just to ensure that both sides are identical and if they're not, using a pair of scissors trim them so they are. So the next step is to place the template on the material and using a material pen or crayon as I am using here. Uh, Colour in the inside of the template and then cut it out and that will give you a colour line for your cape. So next we're going to create the cape that goes over the cape and I know that sounds strange but uh, the Gotham by Gaslight Batman is the cape is based on an Edwardian uh, jacket which I believe is called the Inverness coat uh, or Inverness jacket uh, which was a jacket that had a, a cape that draped over the shoulders and uh, on the arms 
So using this same template, we're going to say uh, we're going to create the cape that. Uh, if it was on a, an Edwardian jacket, it would uh, slope over the shoulders of the jacket. But this is going to drape on over the top of the existing cape. So using the um, existing template, I've essentially created a big C. And what I'm doing is I'm only going to draw out half of it, cut it out, and then fold it in half and that way you get it even on both sides. Now this was the first attempt and it wasn't uh, correct, it was actually too small and I had to test and adjust to make it larger. So this was the second attempt where as you can see I've made it bigger and again I'm only going to cut out half because as you can obviously see it's not even on both sides but if you cut out half, fold it in half and then uh, that way you can get it even on both sides and again this still wasn't big enough um, but eventually on the uh, third and final attempt, uh, third time lucky I managed to get it the uh, right size. And again, when you're happy with your template, place it onto the material and using the uh, crayon or material pen, draw around the outline of the template, cut out and glue into place. And again, with all materials, I use uh, the UHU glue. Uh, that were, I've found that that glue does not seep through onto the other side of the material. And as you can see after a few attempts I managed to get it the right length and the right width and to fit on the 18 inch figure and again just simply glued it around the inside of the collar and glued it into place. So next we're going to move on to the collar and unfortunately I ran out of white cards so I'm using the next best thing which is a toothpaste box. So. Uh, Again, I'm creating another template. It's all about templates for this uh, project, but this one's for the collar. And then once the template is cut out, again, I'll be wrapping it in material using the UHU glue. Now here I'm just placing it on the figure so that I can get the correct length on both sides so it's even on both sides, not too long but not too short. And again as I mentioned using the UHU glue to glue it onto the material I swear by this glue when it comes to working uh, with different materials because it does not see through onto the other side. So that's the colour complete and then when it came time to gluing that onto the figure I just put a bit of super glue on the inside in the middle and glued it onto the back of the figure's neck and then on the, on the underside edges a bit of super glue again and glued it onto the front of his chest. So next we're going to move on to the utility belt which was quite simple, went in with some primer, 
to prime the belt itself and then moved in with some brown acrylic paint I used some uh, gold uh, model paint for the buckle and the uh, buttons on the uh, pouches uh, you can just see on the card that I cut out a square and glued that onto the middle buckle this is going to be also be painted gold and that's to create an actual uh, belt buckle effect for the old style utility belt so again we're creating another template and this is going to be for the chest emblem and I went through quite a lot of different designs for this Batman emblem using several different um, reference photos of different variations of the Gotham by Gaslight Batman and again just like the other templates you drew, I drew out half, cut it out, folded it over that way you get an identical um, pattern on both sides and again once you're happy with your template place it onto the material and draw around the outside of the template and then cut it out so the final step was actually the hardest and it was trying to find something I could use for this part of the figure uh, for a very long time I couldn't find anything and it wasn't until one Thursday evening when I was on my guitar lesson that I noticed the red tassel on the zip of my guitar case and I thought that looked perfect. Unfortunately it was the wrong colour so I had to go in with some brown acrylic paint and paint it brown and then I used two metal um, split pins to use as the buckles and I cut off the uh, tabs, the split pin tabs and then using super glue glued it onto either side of the brown string so guys thank you very much for watching um, I know it's been a few weeks since I last uploaded a video it does take a while to do these customs but I just want to say a big thank you to my subscribers for sticking with me don't forget to check out my Instagram page I do regular updates on there on the progress of my customs and I think we're ready for the final reveal